Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here from Toasty DIY, and I'm here with a very quick video on how I like to stay organized. As somebody who runs multiple businesses and has a lot of things going on in his personal life, um, I tend to forget things, and organizing is, well, a number one essential thing in making sure your businesses survive and also everything else in your life. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you one of my favorite ways to organize, and that is using Microsoft To Do, formerly known as Wonderlist, which is now combined with to do but long story short Microsoft to do is my go-to resource and remembering what I need to do and setting goals for myself to make sure I accomplish them so let's not waste any more time and dive right into it here is my Microsoft to do list now basically with Microsoft to do all you're doing is organizing different lists and adding different tasks for you to accomplish so for example I have a personal to do list that I can add a task to so let's say I need to go to the store Cool, I can add go to the store, but more importantly, th this isn't that special. You can just make a list on any app, like a notepad. So what makes it so special? Well, what makes it special is being able to add custom reminders. So be able to remind you, well, later today, tomorrow, next week, or pick a date and time. Um, you can add a due date for this task. Let's say it's a project for school, or let's say it's a project for work, and you need it done. Well, then you can set a due date for you to, well, stick to. So let's say we want to go to the store by tomorrow. Another feature you can do is repeat things and you can repeat it daily weekday weekly so let's say you have a personal to do to go to the gym which is something I'm trying to do much more now what you can do is click on repeat and have a repeat every single day so every single morning you wake up you look at your to-do list you know that this is the thing you need to do go to the gym go to the store maybe you want to remind yourself every uh, weekday a specific weekday um, you can go and do this and not the weekends so that's a, that's a good thing to have or you can do custom you can pick custom years months weeks all this sort of stuff just different ways for you to stay even more organized. And if you want to collaborate with people, let's say you have, well, a significant other or somebody you want to work with, someone in your, let's say, work group, your project group, or whatever it is, you can assign people to these different tasks and have them, well, contribute to the task. And you can also add files, add notes. There's a lot of different things you can do with these tasks, which makes it much more valuable than having just a simple checklist note. I really like it for shopping because, well, my girlfriend and I, we have a alternating shopping schedule. Schedule. Sometimes I go to the store, sometimes she goes to the store. So I'll share this list with her and she'll be able to see what I currently have and she can go ahead and pick stuff up while she's out there. And if I have something really obscure, I can just say, well, maybe I need some monitor screws. So I totally random I know click on monitor screws I can add a file to basically show you what it looks like but this is RAM that's really not what I need to do but just for example purposes I can add an image right here that they can use as reference for whenever they're looking for monitor screws and of course this is available on iOS or Android you can download the app to your phone and see all this stuff updated in real time and the best part about this is it's free. You can just download it, use it, and there's no premium version, as far as I know, that you have to pay for to uh, use any more features. So it's a really cool app to have on your phone, have on your desktop. The synchronization between desktop and phone is awesome. It's very similar to the Reminders app that you can use on iOS, but I mainly use a Windows PC for work, even though I do have a MacBook and an iPhone, and this seems to be much more fluid in working through multiple ecosystems. So if you're somebody who has, let's say, an Android phone, phone, a Mac, or in a work PC or something like that, this is probably your best alternative to have that on all devices so you can keep yourself updated. But overall, Microsoft To Do has been an essential part in me staying organized. And if you do want to download this app today, link in the description down below. This is definitely not a sponsored video. This is just me sharing a uh, cool little tip that I have for staying organized because uh, with everything going on in the world and me basically playing a ton of different roles in a ton of different places, organization is key and uh, it's helped a lot having this kind of tool around. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like and comment down below if you have a better organization tool that I did not mention in today's video, because, well, I only mentioned one, but I would love to check out some other ones and maybe continue on the lines of productivity stuff on the Toasted DIY channel. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.